Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you Transfer Rumours slash Roundup Episode 8. Now we've got a confirmed transfer and that is Faguli moving to West Ham on a free, the Valencia winger. Um, it's going to be interesting to see him in the Premier League. I haven't seen a great deal of him uh, at Valencia, but uh, it was quite funny because Slavan Bilic, the uh, West Ham manager, was on, is it It's BBC or ITV? I think he's on ITV doing the Euros. And uh, yeah, he was asked about this and it, it was just funny because he got a text uh, literally from the chairman saying that they completed the signing and obviously he, he would have wanted him. But it, it's just interesting to see uh, how the manager reacted. And yeah, he seemed fairly excited that they got Fakuli. So uh, yeah, I think it will be a good signing and it's for free. So the worst thing that could happen is he'll flop, but it's free. So it, it's not really that much of an issue but I don't think he will I think he's well suited to the Premier League but we'll have to wait and see next we've got a confirmed bid that's been rejected 32 million by Chelsea for Andre Gomez now I think this tells us a couple of things first they failed in their pursuit of nine Golan. I think they wouldn't be making mass bids for another centre mid if nine Golan had said to them look I'm gonna join you so I reckon and unless this is scare tactics to try and get Nine Golan to hurry up, which I doubt it would be an official bid, uh, surely means that they actually want Andre Gomez. So uh, yeah, and it also tells us that they're actually interested in him. 32 million is a substantial uh, fee for the player, and uh, we've been linked. But I don't think anything's going to be settled after the Euros. But now Chelsea have made a bid. We're maybe going to have to speed up our negotiation progress with uh, Valencia. Apparently they're holding out for something like £42 million, which wouldn't surprise me. When a player doesn't have a release clause, or I don't think he does, uh, Spanish clubs obviously want to get as much as they possibly can, especially the likes of Valencia, the likes of Atletico Bilbao. They're two big teams that do this all the time. So... um. Yeah, it's interesting. 32 million. Uh, he he played well in Portugal's opening game against Iceland. He got the assist for Nani's goal. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen too much of him. Uh, Valencia again. So, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, he does look promising 22. And if Chelsea are slapping this much money on, the, on him trying to get him, then we'll have to see how Man United respond to if Chelsea up their bid or what the situation is. But it's very, very intriguing anyway. Next player, we've got a one that I've mentioned once or twice on these uh, videos, but it's Henrik Mkhitaryan. Some new news has came out that he will not be signing an extension for Borussia Dortmund. I did say that um, that will be confirmed this week. And according to his agent, he prefers Manchester United. This is being reported by BBC, by Sky Sports. He prefers Man United over Arsenal. And uh, that's terrific. We need to now... Put a bid in. Like getting this player would be amazing. I think he scored something like 18 goals. He assisted 24. He's exactly what we need on the right. I've been through uh, his pros and cons on this channel. When he was linked to Arsenal, I said it would be an unreal signing for them. When he was linked to us, I said the same because it would be. And uh, the only problem is Dortmund. Now he's only got one year left on his deal, so unless which we've seen with Lewandowski, I mean they're not overly bothered about letting players go at the end of their contract as long as they've got replacements and um yeah that that's what they might actually do let him go for free next season but if they find a replacement then by all means they might sell him this season especially if he wants to go um we'll have to wait and see but yeah he prefers man united according to his agent and the same agent uh well the the same agent of Mkhitaryan is the agent of Zlatan Ibrahimovic and he was also the agent didn't get on with Sir Alex Ferguson while he was at Man United, I'm pretty sure. Ferguson said he was very hard to bargain with, but um, yeah, now it seems that's in the past. And uh, yeah, we might get two of his clients, Mkhitaryan and Ibrahimovic. Talking about Ibrahimovic, we've got more news on him now. Sky Sports saying that he's agreed personal terms and all that needs to happen is a medical after the Euros and then he's a Manchester United player. So it's pretty much nailed on. There was late interest by Bayern Munich supposedly, but... I think that's just, well, I, d I can't say being scare tactics by the agent because we can't really complete it while he's at the Euros. But I don't know, that just might be trying to uh, stir things up. Like, I don't know, like, I, I highly doubt that'll happen, especially with Lewandowski there. And I can't see him leaving Bayern Munich. So, yeah, I think Zlatan's pretty much nailed on to join Manchester United. It's just a matter of time now. Next players we've got linked 
is to a new manager of a new club. That's uh, Ronald Koeman to Everton, fully confirmed now. And uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't really mean much, but I, I just don't like the coach anymore. Like, he's very hypocritical for what he said to, uh, about Manchester United and the way we treated Van Hal and about loyalty and all this shit. And then he moves to a divisional rival that are pretty similar at this present time. You can understand why he's moved, but it's just his comments. If he'd have kept quiet, then fair enough. But he didn't, and, you know, now he's got his move, so I hope it fails personally. I've got nothing against Everton, but I just don't like the coach, so I personally hope he fails, and I hope he goes out the Premier League. But uh, anyway, he's linked to Krul and Witzel. Krul, um, I don't think Newcastle fans are going to be overly bothered, because uh, Rob Elliott played very, very well in goal when Krul was injured, so I don't think they're going to be too bothered about that one. Um... And I'm not sure how good of a signing he would be for Everton. I think he'd be alright, but he's not world class. And uh, they might need a goalkeeper, but we'll have to wait and see. Witzel, though, who they're linked with, would be a terrific signing, I think. Zenit, uh, he's a Belgium international. That's where I've seen him play for Belgium. I've watched a lot of their games. I haven't seen any of Zenit. I'm not going to pretend I have. So I don't know how he does for there, but he's a strong midfield presence. And uh, he's a centre mid that can defend and attack and uh, it, it, people think he's a bit like Fellini I mean because of his stature and everything but I think they're different sort of players Witzel can pass very well compared to Fellini anyway so I think this would be a great deal but a lot of clubs have been linked to Witzel in the past supposedly near to completion like Juventus and it just never went through for whatever reason so we'll have to wait and see with that one next player we've got Lich Steiner he's linked to Manchester City Chelsea and Schalke I think he will leave. Juventus are linked to a hell of a lot of players. And um, yeah, I think Lichsteiner is one of the ones that will end up going. Schalke are interested, as I, as I say. So are Chelsea. So are Man City. Chelsea have been interested for quite a while. So if I had to pick a team that I think he'll end up at, I'm going to say Chelsea. And uh, I think he's like 32, but he's still a very good player. And um, he's very versatile and that's what Conte likes. So I think he will go there. Um, next player we've got linked is Matteo Dormian, who I can't believe I haven't covered before because he's been linked with a move away for ages. Mourinho apparently told him that he wants uh, him to stay, but now there's a, like, a strong interest in Juventus, and now we're also linked to someone who I'll uh, speak about next. But um, yeah, it seems as though he could go to Juventus after the Euros, and um, he was terrific for us for the first few games. Then he tailored away, and then he was very hit and miss. He had a solid game, followed by an absolutely terrible game. And he just had no consistency towards the end of the season. Now, I think he can turn it around. And uh, the only reason I would be happy if he did leave was if it was in some sort of exchange for Pogba. That would literally be all. If not, then I don't see the benefit of selling him. Unless we get stupid amounts of money which doesn't really, you know, bother us as fans or whatever. But um, as a club, I suppose it makes statements that we're not going to be taken for granted anymore, where we sell players for piss pot value and then spend about 500 times the worth on players. But um, yeah, I don't want him to leave. And at the minute, I think he won't. But if he does, I'm not going to be surprised. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think Juventus are the only big team linked. Could be wrong there. But uh, we're linked. To another right back, and that is Fabinho. Uh, Fabiano, sorry, uh, plays for Monaco. We were linked last season. So would uh, City. City were reportedly very close to getting it wrapped up, but they didn't for whatever reason. He's 22, solid looking right back, um, and yeah, it, it, this would be good because it would provide competition for uh, Dormian. I don't think Mourinho's the sort of coach that's going to play Dormian out of position. Well, right back's out of position. Uh, Dormian can play on the left. That isn't playing him out of position. That's playing him in another position he can play in. But um, centre back, where he played for Liu Van Hal, he wasn't you know known for it. Uh, sometimes he played there is what I'm saying, but I don't think Mourinho would do that, so I think this would provide competition. Now, we've got Varela, who did show promise last season, but I'm just not sure Mourinho's you know, too impressed by him. So if we did get Fab Fabiano, I wouldn't be complaining. It just adds more strength and depth. People need to realise that, you know, although we've got a lot of youngsters that I'm sure will get game time, we've got a, such a thin squad, particularly in defence. We need it beefing up. We need more names in there. And uh, yeah, this 
would be a solid signing. Whether it happens, we'll have to wait and see. We're facing competition from a host of other clubs. So, yeah, Fabiano's linked. We'll have to see what developments with that one. The next one, we've got Victor Valdez linked to Manchester City of all places. Now, um, I mean, the, the player would get a substantial wage, but he'd still be number two behind Joe Hart, I think. Uh, I believe he's worked with Pep Guardiola at Barcelona, so you, you never know. They might have a good relationship. Valdez didn't have too well of a, uh, too good of a relationship with Van Hal either Barcelona or Manchester United, and he left. He also went on loan to Stadio Liage, but that failed. He went back. So I don't know. I mean, he's, he's still a quality goalkeeper, and he could be first choice at a whole host of teams. But if he did move to City, he'd be second choice, number two. And I'm not sure if he wants that for another season. But, you know, they're linked, so we'll have to see what happens. Next, we've got another goalkeeper linked, Steve Mandanda to Chelsea. And this is as a number two to Thibaut Courtois, because the common belief is that Begovic will go elsewhere uh, to try and find, you know, first team opportunities because he, he's probably at that level. Now, Mandanda, I'm not sure if he'd take a, a number two role. There's also rumours that this is in case Courtois actually leaves, which is believable. Mandanda's had a very solid season. He's been solid enough for Marseille for a number of seasons. So, you know, I think if he did go, Courtois will probably go. I can't see him being happy with number two. I just can't see so this one's probably a rumor that will only happen if someone else leaves and in this case that would be Courtois so we'll have to wait and see what happens I say they're an awful lot but it's true that's what happens in the transfer market you've just got to wait and see because clubs change their mind all the time last player we've got Janssen who was linked to Spurs he's now linked to Wolfsburg and it seems as though it's a two-horse race for this player personally I think he'll choose Spurs um, you know, he's got that competition with Harry Kane. Wolfsburg are a good team. They got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League last year. But Spurs are now in the Champions League. And I don't think Wolfsburg are going, if I'm correct. I could be wrong with that. I should have checked the Bundesliga table. But also, Spurs look as though they've got a more enticing team, uh, in my opinion. So that's where I think Janssen will go. But we'll have to wait and see. He's linked to Wolfsburg now. But I think one thing's for certain, he will leave I think it's AZ Algmar that he's at. But anyway, let me know what you think of this uh, episode. Let me know what rumours you want me to cover next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.